EIDL grants are being prioritized for agricultural businesses while the rest of you are left in a vortex. This is a bombshell for Wednesday, May 13th. This is LLA. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe and drop your comments below. We may feature them in tomorrow's recording. Wow, 24 comments. We're going to be getting to all of them today. So watch if you commented on yesterday's Tuesday recording. But first, the news, a bombshell. One of our readers delivered a shocking development. The following has come to light, that if you are an EIDL grant applicant and have not received your money, the reason why may disturb you. LA has learned that EIDL grant applicants who are agricultural businesses who only applied less than seven days ago had their own team of SBA officers dedicated only for agricultural businesses to streamline them, while the rest of you who have been waiting around since March 30th, March 31st, or April 4th in that vortex, that Bermuda Triangle of Neverland that LA has been reporting on for days, have been left to the wayside with nothing going on. Really shocking details. And let me get right to the comment. It comes from D. Talk to SBA rep today. Asked, why are agricultural loans getting funded faster than existing applications? Apparently, agricultural applications have a different team of loan officers, and they're only working on those specific loans and have nothing to do with the others. My application notes has been all verified and was told to wait for an email. Also, for the first time, this particular rep asked if I received my grant, which, yes, I have not. I'm one of the few applicants that applied. I have one of those applicants that applied on 331. No answers. So there you go. For days, Ellen has been reporting on what we've called the Vortex, the Bermuda Triangle, these March 30th, March 31st applicants for EIDL grants that have received no grant, no, n no nothing. And it has also plagued people who applied on April 5th and April 6th. It's those particular days. Meantime, LLA reported last week and this week that the EIDL grant and loan process that opened for agricultural businesses, not this Monday, but the money before, have received grant and loan money in their bank accounts already, fully processed, while the rest of you are sitting around. Now we know why. Shocking. What do you think about that? Drop your comments below. But let's get the tw to the 23 other comments from Tuesday's video right now. Philip Say says, okay, so I spoke to SBA, got through in less than th a minute, asked them for level two, got them in less than a minute. Then she told me my loan was still being processed April 2nd. No grant, April 15th, credit poll, hope that helps. It does help, Philip, but you should be entitled to a grant. You apply on April 15th, call back and spoke to tier two representative, say, where's my grant money? Uh, Apathy says April 9th, still nothing. Told my application is still being processed. Not sufficient, Blah. Uh, Apathy, call SBA, ask for tier two, say, hey, where's my application? Where's my grant money? If you are watching this video and you have not received your EIDL grant money, you should do the following. You should pull out a pen and paper and write down the date that you applied for your EIDL application. You should write down the date, if you know it, that your credit check was pulled by SBA. You should write down your EIN number or your social security number and, uh, and, and ensure that everything that you applied on the EIDL grant application was correct. As we report, and I'll repeat back, what we reported in a bombshell last week, that EIDL applicants applications have gone into unable to verify identity mode. It's actually a term that they're using if you did the following things incorrectly. At the top of the application, you're required to indicate whether you're a sole practitioner or a small business. If you're a sole practitioner, you should have listed your name, not your business name. You should have listed your social security number, not an EIN, and you should have listed your personal banking account number. If you did all those incorrectly, you need to call SBA right away. Second, if you had put small business, you should have the, put the business name and the LLC and the incorporation name, not a version of it, not a DBA, not your personal name. If you put your personal name, you're supposed to call SBA. You made an error. You're supposed to put the business's EIN and you're supposed to put the business's uh, bank account information. If you did anything like that, you are in unable to verify identity mode with SBA. You must call them immediately and fix it. If you didn't do anything incorrectly, 
correctly, and you have not received your funds from March 30th or March 31st or April 8th or April 9th or any other day, but those especially, those Vortex uh, Bermuda Triangle dates, call SBA and say, where's your money? Ask for the level two and say, where is your money? Uh, and have all your information ready. There's no excuse why you should not have received your grant money by today. Sean Michael, I had my credit checked on SBA 420 and 421, $1,000 grant, still nothing about the loan. So that's good, Sean. So as we respond in another exclusive, you should be receiving your loan application invite to a portal by SBA via email two to three weeks from the date at which you received your grant, inf uh, your grant money. Uber Eddie Miami. I called and they said they're still working on it. Well, that's good news. You got someone to give you a good answer. Melanin K. Why do we complain to our state's unemployment for PUA if it's being blocked? The reason I ask is because I've tried nine days now for, a, to, for it as a contract. Each time I comes up with the same air in the same spot, it won't allow me to move forward. I'm thinking Lindsey, Glenn ha Lindsey Graham has it blocked. Um, melanin, yes. If you see any problem with your PUA or, or EDD or your unemployment or your EIDL applications, call them immediately. Sometimes there are very simple problems with these websites. The problem is getting through on, on the phone. Logan. Awesome comment. Keep it up. Love to be friends. Well, thank you, Logan. Thank you for your comment. Antonio, thank you for the info and your time. Well, thank you for watching, Antonio. Can we use the EIDL loan to pay credit cards with the high with highest interest rates? You'll have to look at SBA guidance for that one. Uh, David James, apply 331, grant on, on 421, quick since. Uh, David, if you've not received your EIDL loan portal invite, Two to three weeks from 421, call SBA. If you don't know what that loan invite is, watch our loan story also from today. Cruz Juan, thank you for your information. Here is my story. Okay, Cruz, I'm ready. Um, both his and his daughter applied on the same day for EIDL, March 21st. Um, on April 18th, credit was pulled. I called my daughter, told her to check her credit. Her credit was not pulled. Then we both heard nothing. Then on May 4th, my daughter received an email for more information. That's interesting. Uh, checking account information, routing number, personal credits. May 5th, my daughter received another email. They offered her a $10,000 loan. Uh, she ex accepted on uh, May 10th. It was deposited. So I'm waiting a few more days. I contacted First Lady as of May 12th, nothing. So I don't like that for either of you, um, Cruz. Um, both of you were entitled to a... Uh, in, uh, we're entitled to a grant. Now the question is, you both applied on May on March 25th before the new grant loan process went live. So you may have lost out on the whole process because of that. The issue, however, is where is your loan? I would call SBA. I don't know if either of you are going to be entitled to a grant because you applied before March 30th. You did not apply with the new streamlining application that said you're asking for a grant. But definitely call SBA. You're entitled to the loan um, uh, offer. Neil Martinez, I just want to share the timeline for PPP and EIDL application process from start to the end. Okay, Neil, I'm ready. Let's look. 3.30, okay. <laughs> a 3.30 Vortex application for EIDL. Uh, a lot of PPP stuff. I'll jump that. Okay, so May 8th, called SBA for EIDL response. I was told that I would receive an email after verifying my application number, County of Business, um, received an email to sign for a portal. Okay, so he got the portal invite. Um and it said it was $34,000. May 12th, my personal credit was pulled, closing documents for sign via, via DocuSign, and received $34,000. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. So this viewer um, received a $34,000 loan fully funded on May 12th this week, uh, May 13th, uh, after he signed the DocuSign on May 12th and he received the email on May 8th. Now, I don't see he received... Oh, he did receive the EIDL advance on March, on April 14th. So congratulations, Neil. He got both a $1,000 advance and a $34,000 loan. Very good. So wait, there's some more. Do you know what happened to this three-day EIDL? Um... No. I seen where some people apply for PPP in Bank America. Um, 
a lot of a lot of a lot of PPP questions. We've said stay away from PPP. Just stay away from PPP. But congratulations, you got the EIDL loan. You got your EIDL grant of one thousand dollars. All right, William Johnson, uh, Rose Fields. Hey, LLA, I'm the owner. Hey, Rose, I'm the owner of a one day daycare here in Texas. Well, hello, Texas, and I miss applying for the EIDL by five hours. I got up in the morning of day fifteen, and it disappeared. Do you think I'll get the opportunity for my business? Um, after helping the agriculture applicants, do you see SBA open it back up for business owners trying to stay afloat and not lose hope? Rose, no. But here's the good news. I, the bad news is I do not see EIDL opening again uh, for, for non-agricultural businesses. But here's the good news, Rose. If you have a daycare in Texas and Texas issued a stay-at-home order and you were unable to operate your daycare center, which I believe you probably were, most schools were closed in the state of Texas at some period of time, apply for PUA. A PUA may, uh, you may qualify for PUA. When you're applying for PUA, what you're going to have to do, Rose, is do the following. You're going to have to watch our PUA video, but let me just give you a guidance of what PUA is. It's, it's basically could qualify you to up to $600 per day, and your, and your weekly benefits a minimum in your state could be, a, you know, 160 139 is generally the, 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 the weekly benefits and minimums in some states. But if your daycare center was doing well in 2019, you could raise your PUAs at possibly up to $300, $400, whatever is your maximum benefits in your state, plus $600 on top of that. And if you watch our PUA video for today, they're now talking about continuing PUA into 2021. So that could be upwards of $900, $1,000 per week. Um, so watch our PUA video. That is your that is your option now, possibly. Rocket Raccoon, they shot down the grant link before I could apply. Then it went live for agricultural. When are they gonna get the $10,000 grant back? Not, Rocket, they are not. However, watch our same advice for you about what we said for PUA. My business is dead right now. Right now, I don't think $1,000 per, per employee will not help me. I blew all my employees' uh, inventory safe float. Rocket Raccoon, watch our PUA video from today, which is Wednesday, and then watch our other ones. You may qualify for PUA, and PUA could end up paying you more than EIDL. Uber Eddie Miami. I got a grant, no credit check. Oh, good. Congrats. Guan GV916. Give SBA some time. I applied back in March. I didn't get the grant or nothing. But just last Saturday, I received an email portal asking me to create an account. After I created the account, they got the loan amount. And today, I checked my bank and the deposit amount. I got my deposit amount and the grant. My credit score is 785. Good luck, people. Well, good luck to you. That's great news. And he's right. Give people time. Ricardo, you did it again. I feel like I'm watching a very TV, uh, watch a TV show. Very informative and entertaining. Love your charisma and energy. LLA for President. Well, thank you, Ricardo. And thank you for your great comment. And thank you all for tuning in. Uh, a lot of great comments. 24 of them. We cover them all. And we're next going to cover every single one of your comments in the EIDL loan story. No matter how long the running time is. As always, stay with LA for more.